Hi, I'm Sharon and welcome to my channel. Following on from my last video, I thought I'd show you how I'm building layers in my fragments journals and in particular this little mini. I've spoken before about how I like to make my journals out of papers that already have something on them or when I'm using a ready-made blank like this one. I go through and I add something to each page to remove that blank page paralysis. The snippets on the pages, whether it's a bit of collage or a layer of paint, give me a jumping off point and I build the colours and patterns. I build on the colours and patterns that are already there. This one was a jelly printed um, double page and I've picked up the colours that were in the print in uh, probably exaggerated the edit quite a bit but I've then gone and practiced my mark making I'm trying to trying to uh, learn teach myself about building different size and variation in my shapes so but I was quite happy with that one so as I said I've been building into these initial layers and because of its small size it's been easy to do something in it most days even if it's only a little bit of collage some marks some doodling or in some cases completely finishing pages I'm not sure whether that one's done I might add some more to it but this is what I'm, I'm really enjoying is um, just adding a little bit that takes my fancy and coming back to it if I feel the need. A little bit of stamping, some paint added, a little bit of stenciling. This one again, the jumping off point was a, a stamped and painted piece of collage paper it was a book page you can't tell you can't really see a lot of it now that I I've um, worked into the page but that was my jumping off point and my um, choice of colors not really the colors that I would normally choose but that's the fun thing about this journal it's about trying out different things In this one, it's been um, some neuro neurographic line work. I've added some paint over the top and I'll keep um, building some more layers into that. And I thought the, uh, the color palette quite interesting. This one so far, I just added some stenciling because I had that those particular colors on my palette at the time and I just wanted to use them up this one again this jelly jelly printed a uh, jelly paper in the middle was my inspiration for the rest of the page again I don't know whether I'll add any more or I'll just leave it at that and with with when I was printing with the jelly printing directly onto the page I didn't want to press down too hard um, I didn't want to um, risk breaking the spine so what I'm finding I'm doing with a lot of these jelly printed pages is I need to come back in with the same colors in a lot of cases just a nice glaze and cover up or integrate that white space into the the, pa the printed pages this one I've done it and as I showed you at in this beginning page I'm on the jelly printed pages it's really lovely to go th in and pick out the colors that I use in the print and then apply those colors to the pages in a really intuitive way working in this way I've already loosened up I've learned some new things about my preferences 
So my suggestion is give it a go, get out that unfinished journal and give yourself permission to play. So now I'm going to leave you with some process video of me working on this uh, jelly printed spread. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I always appreciate your comments. Thanks for watching. Sit back, relax and enjoy the process.